Praise the Lord. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us do the way of the cross this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Opening prayer. Lord Jesus, your cross is at the heart of our Christian vocation. Once again, we come to contemplate your cross and suffering. Grant us the gift of living more profoundly the mystery of our salvation. In meditating on your passion, we also see how you live and suffer even today in our brothers and sisters. Teach us how to walk together with you in this world so that we may come to know the power of your resurrection. Amen. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. It was for us that you suffered, O blessed Jesus. It was for our sins you were condemned to die. Lord, grant that we may detest them from the bottom of our hearts, and by this repentance, obtain your mercy and pardon. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Second station, Jesus is laden with a cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. O Jesus, grant us by virtue of your cross to embrace with meekness and cheerful submission the difficulties of our state and to be ever ready to take up our cross and follow you. A mercy on us, O Lord. Amen. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. O Jesus, who for our sins did bear the heavy burden of the cross and fell under its weight, may the thought of your suffering make us watchful of ourselves and save us from any grievous fall into sin. Mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Fourth station, Jesus meets his blessed mother. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. O oh, Jesus, by the compassion which you felt for your mother, have compassion on us. And give us a share in her intercession, O oh, Mary, most afflicted mother. Intercede for us that through the suffering of your son, we may be delivered from the wrath to come. A mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. O Lord Jesus, may it be our privilege also to bear your cross. May we glory in nothing else by it, may the world be crucified unto us. And we unto the world, may we never shrink from sufferings, but rather rejoice if we should be counted worthy to suffer for your name's sake. Mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you. O Jesus, may the contemplation of your suffering move us to the deepest compassion. Make us hate our sins and kindle in our hearts more fervent love of you. May your image be graven on our minds until we are transformed into your likeness. A mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart. Seventh station, Jesus falls beneath his cross the second time. 
We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. O oh, Jesus, who fell a second time beneath the Lord of our sins and of your sufferings for our sins, how often have we grieved you by our repeated falls into sin? Lord, may we rather die than ever offend you again. Mercy on us, O oh Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. O oh Lord Jesus, we mourn and will mourn both for you and for ourselves, for your sufferings and for our sins which you caused to them. Lord, teach us so to mourn that we may be comforted and escape those dreadful judgment prepared for all who reject you in this life. A mercy on us, O oh Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred bones of the crucified Lord. Ninth station, Jesus falls beneath his cross the third time. We adore your Christ and we bless you. O oh Lord Jesus, we entreat you by the merits of this your third most painful fall to pardon our frequent relapses and our long continuance in sin. May the thought of these your sufferings make us hate our sins more and more. A mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. O Lord Jesus, you endured this shame for our most shameful deed. Strip us. We beseech you of all false shame, conceit and pride, and make us to humble ourselves voluntarily in this life that we may be escape everlasting ignominy in the world to come. A mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. O Jesus, nailed to the cross, fasten to it our hearts also. Thy may be united to you until death shall strike us with its fatal blow. And with our last breath, we shall yield up our souls to you. A mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Told station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. For three hours, Jesus has hung upon his transfixed hands. His blood has run in streams down his body and soaked the ground. In the midst of excruciating suffering, he has pardoned his murderers, promised the bliss of paradise to the good thief, and committed his blessed mother and the beloved disciple to each other's care. All is now consummated. And meekly bowing his head down, he gives up his spirit. O oh, Jesus, we devoutly embrace that honored cross whereon you loved us even unto death. In that death we place all our confidence. Henceforth let us live only for you and in dying for you. Let us die loving you and in your sacred arms. A mercy on us, O oh Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Thirteen stage, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. O Mary, Mother of God, 
Your grief was boundless as an unfathomable ocean. Give us a share in your most holy sorrow for the suffering of your Son, and have compassion on our infirmities. Accept us, your children, with the beloved disciple. Show yourself a mother unto us and intercede for us in our necessities. A mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the holy sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Lord, your burial in the tomb and your resurrection give us the hope that our lives are not to perish in the grave, but to rise again in your glory. Lord, by baptism we have been buried with you. Give us the grace to consider ourselves dead to sin and to live with you. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Mother, imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. Concluding prayer. Heavenly Father, we have walked along with your Son, Jesus, on his journey to Calvary. May this journey with our suffering, Lord, help us to remember also that Jesus is with us always in our journey through this life. Let this journey to Calvary cleanse us of our pride, egoism, non-acceptance of ourselves and of those around us. Help us to realize that in pain and suffering you are close to us. Give us the strength and the courage to bear all our sufferings and pain. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Act of contrition. My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart. In choosing to do wrong and failing to do good, I have sinned against you, whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend, with your help, to do penance, to sin no more, and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Savior Jesus Christ suffered and died for us. In his name, my God, have mercy. Amen. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us prepare for Holy Eucharistic celebration. Let us pray for divine retreat centers as some must be. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreat centers as some must be. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and defense. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. 
be soft-hearted and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. As we celebrate this Eucharist, let us ask of the mercy of the Lord upon all those who are struggling with extreme weather conditions and natural calamities around the world. Especially we remember all those who are affected with floods, recent floods in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. We pray for them. Lord's mercy upon them. Brethren, let's acknowledge all our shortcomings and sins, asking the Lord forgiveness and pardon, and to make us worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord. Perseverance is obeying your will. Perseverance in obeying your will. That in our days, the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Amen. be seated for the readings first reading a reading from the book of numbers the Israelites left Mount Hor by the road to the Sea of Suf to skirt the land of Adam. On the way, the people lost patience. They spoke against God and against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is neither bread nor water here. We are sick of this unsatisfying food. At this God sent fiery serpents among the people. The bite brought death to many in Israel. The people came and said to Moses, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. In the sea for us, with the Lord to save us from these serpents. Moses interceded for the people and the Lord answered him, Make a fiery serpent and put it on standard. If anyone is bitten and looks at it, he shall live. So Moses fashioned a bronze serpent, which he put on a standard. And if anyone was bitten by a serpent, he looked at the bronze serpent and lived. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me and answer me quickly when I call. Our response, O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the earth kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory, then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless 
He will not despise their prayers. Our response, O Lord, hear my prayer. Let my cry come to you. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord leaned down from the sanctuary on high. He looked down from heaven to the air, that he might hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. Our response, O Lord, hear my prayer. Let my cry come to you. Gospel acclamation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the soul. All who come to him will live forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away. You will look for me and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Will he kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? Jesus went on, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I have told you already, you will die in your sins. Yes, if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus answered, What I have told you from the outset, about you I have much to say and much to condemn. But the one who sent me is truthful, and what I have learned from him I declare to the world. They failed to understand what he was talking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. What the Father has taught me is what I preach. He who sent me is with me, and has not left me to myself. For I always do what pleases him. As he was saying this, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, in the Old Testament reading, the first reading from the book of Exodus, we see Moses lifting the bronze serpent and everyone who was bit by the serpent, fiery serpents, and because of their sins, they would look at this bronze serpent and they would regain their life. They would live. The same way Jesus compares himself, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know I am He. Meaning, those who look at Jesus who is crucified for us, they will receive eternal life. They will be freed from their sins. Jesus was lifted up and crucified, died for us to save us from our sins. He died as ransom for our sins. And when we look at him, when we look at the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, we are imbibing from that cross the merits of his death and his resurrection. So dear sisters and brothers, today, let us have Jesus crucified for us in front of us all the time as we go ahead in our life. And as we continue to read in the, in the gospel passage, how focused was Jesus on his father and his mission? He always knew that the father was with him. And that was the power, that was the strength in him. 
guiding him forward. So as we go ahead in our life, let us have the crucified Lord before us, guiding us, strengthening us in everything, and let us not take our eyes from the Lord today. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, today we ask of you this grace to have Jesus in front of us all the time, to have our eyes fixed on him, so that the thought of his death, his resurrection, and, ours, and his saving power guide us, strengthen us all through this day. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim holy, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. So let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall. For those who are not able to go to church today physically, it's your time of spiritual communion. We say this prayer, inviting the Lord into our heart. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me 
to be separated from you. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Keep us all safe for eternal life. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's bow our heads for blessing. O God, who choose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you, grant that your faithful may weep as they should for the evil they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty Lord bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's serve the Lord in love and peace. Thanks be to the Lord. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel. Defend us in the day of battle. Be a safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priests, O Jesus, eternal priest.